Friday, January 3rd, 2020. Yesterday, I received mail from SafeLink Wireless because I receive my phone through them, which is a government run company so that everyone could have a phone. And SafeLink had sent me postcards. And the postcards really grabbed a hold of my soul because I believe what they were showing is that it is time for Satan to take his spot, which will be in Obama. The postcards that they sent me to hand out to other people, if I choose to, were of stockings hanging with the number 8 in front. And right in back of it was the number 6 upside down. And no 7 in between. And Obama is the one spoken of that will be the beast from the abyss pits of hell claiming to be God for the days coming up ahead here, the great tribulation years. Um, in the Holy Bible, Revelation chapter 17 Verses 10 through 11, it says, And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was, and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. So, as I was saying before about the postcards that SafeLink sent to me, uh, another one had a Christmas wreath with numerous apples on it. Satan, while in the Garden of Eden, he had tempted Eve with an apple, which led to sin, rebellion, disobedience, etc. Another card said, all I want for Christmas is you. And I believe this is Satan wanting our souls. And on a Christmas card that came with this, it said, From SafeLink with love. And it had a picture of a link. The link is the number six and number eight, who was the six king. And will be the eighth king, Obama. I believe it's also about the link regarding our DNA that Satan wants to destroy. God created each person with their own special DNA and in God's image, which is love. This DNA will not be allowed into heaven if it is destroyed and made into that of Satan's. And if you think about it, love backwards spells evil. That's what Satan wants to do, completely change us from our inside out. We are made in God's image, which is love, and he wants to make us evil and be his. Interesting enough that we are being spied on through our phones, and our government has a program to give people free phones with unlimited texting, by the way, which I believe is makes it easier for them to spy on us, keep track of what we're saying. So... Now, this all obviously, my opinion is about Obama. 
Obama is not even a human being. Obama is a clone of Satan's number one fallen angel, Abaddon, and Obama is currently fully housing Abaddon, which came from the abyss pits of hell through a gateway to and from the abyss pits of hell, located directly underneath Lake Michigan in Racine County, Wisconsin, the United States of America, who is the whore of Babylon, which God said is inhabited by devils and that it will be destroyed in one hour. That hour has come right now. The clone Obama was created for such a time as this, to fully house Satan for the seven years of great tribulation, actual hell upon this flat earth, God's judgments and his wrath. At the moment, the true bride of Christ is taken into heaven in the glorious rapture by her bridegroom, King Jesus Christ. God's archangel Michael and his angels will kick the dragon Satan and his angels out of a heavenly realm and down unto this earth. At that time, Satan will enter into the clone Obama. He will claim to be God and demand all to worship him and to receive his mark inside of the right arm or sorry, right hand or forehead, which is the mark of the beast. It is an RFID microchip implant, and whoever receives this mark will automatically be eternally damned into the lake of fire to be tormented by Satan day and night with absolutely no chance of forgiveness and being set free by Jesus Christ and God. No excuses will be accepted, not even torture and death of you and your loved ones. Never allow anyone to implant an RFID microchip into you or your loved ones. The reason why you're not allowed into heaven is because the DNA will be destroyed when you take the microchip. It will be changed from who God created you to be and in his image, which is love. And it will be turned into evil, the opposite of love. And nothing, nothing but love can enter into heaven. And the only way to enter into heaven is through a loving relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, our King, the Great I Am, the only bridge into heaven. Jesus Christ loves you. If you haven't done so already, ask him into your heart today as your Lord and Savior. Ask him to forgive you of all sins. Repent of your sins. Ask Jesus to help you to turn away from all sin in your mind and in your heart. Forgive everyone you need to forgive. Ask for forgiveness from everyone you need to for ask for forgiveness from. Remember too that all the sins there's a spiritual side to everything, okay? Commandments of God are spiritual and physical. An example of this is placing someone else or something else in the number one spot in your heart, which is meant for Jesus Christ and Him alone. This is spiritual adultery. Hatred in your heart towards anyone else is actually murder. I pray. I pray for people to wake up, to know, to know the days we're living in, to know that Jesus Christ is coming at any moment now and to take his bride home with him. I pray for people to wake up to this right now. Nobody deserves to be left behind to suffer and die for Christ. And worse yet, to go to hell. Please, keep keep your loved ones and other people's loved ones in prayer, you guys. Do what you can to allow God to use you to help wake people up. This is it. This is it. It's either you go to heaven soon or hell. Or suffer on earth for a while in the great tribulation. This is it. Let's do what we can to help others. And ourselves. To be worthy by God. To be raptured. To be rescued out of here. To be taken to our real home. 
Everyone, please join me in tugging on God's heart for God to please forgive, save, and awaken all of our precious loved ones and us. And for God to have his beloved son, King Jesus Christ, take all of our loved ones, including our pets and other animals, along with us to our real and eternal home heaven at the imminent glorious rapture, which will happen at literally any moment now. I eagerly look forward to hanging out with our loved ones when we get home and are thoroughly enjoying our totally awesome, never-ending family reunion, the family of Christ, that is. I hope to see you in the sky really soon. We fly home extremely soon. <laughs>